two men have been charged with assault in relation to an incident in which a heckler was allegedly thrown to the ground during Queen Elizabeth II's coffin procession in Edinburgh. Police began an investigation after members of the public intervened in relation to an incident during which Prince Andrew was verbally abused while walking behind his mother's coffin on the Royal Mile on September 12. The protester, a 22-year-old man, was subsequently charged with a breach of the peace and will appear in court at a later date. Widely circulated footage showed a man being dragged to the ground shortly after the Queen's coffin left the Palace of Holyrood House, to which it had been transported following her death at Balmoral Castle on September 8. A Police Scotland spokesman said, two men, both 34, have been arrested and charged in connection with assault following an incident on the Royal Mile on September 12. A report will be sent for the consideration of the fiscal. At the time of the incident, all four of the Queen's children, including King Charles III and Princess Anne, were walking behind their mother's coffin as it was taken to St. Giles Cathedral after leaving the palace. Andrew, 62, stepped down from royal duties in 2019 over the controversy surrounding his friendship with the late U.S. financier and sex offender Jeffrey Epstein who killed himself that year while awaiting trial on sex trafficking charges. In February this year, Andrew settled a U.S. lawsuit by Virginia Jufrey, one of Epstein's victims, who accused Andrew of abusing her when she was a teenager. Andrew denied any wrongdoing and was not charged with any criminal offense. The arrests of a small number of protesters earlier this month prompted comments on social media about the police response which some users said was heavy-handed. A spokesman for Prime Minister Liz Truss refused to comment on operational policing decisions but said the right to protest was a fundamental principle. He added, this is a period of national mourning and indeed grief for the vast majority of the United Kingdom and I think that is what you're seeing playing out each day. The day after the incident involving the Duke of York, a spokesman for the National Police Chiefs Council said, We know some people want to protest on a range of issues during this time of national mourning, and officers must balance these rights against those who wish to grieve and reflect. We have issued guidance to forces on how they should do this, in order to ensure a national consistency of approach. Okay.